Time to look at the winners in the youngest format of the game, T20, which produces a lot of breathtaking performances. And the, the ESPN Cricket Info judges have now judged on the best T20 batting performance. And I'm not surprised, I must, ad I must admit. Anyone who saw Chris Gale teeing off at the Oval against Brett Lee and the rest of the Australians and, dis and just letting us know how far the boundary line was, clearing it with ease, uh, would, would take some beating. And uh, you, you saw that inning we talked about a little earlier. I don't see having voted for anybody else. No, no. I mean, you had to vote for Chris Gale. If you saw the innings <laughs> and if you saw that hit up onto the roof of the, uh, the pavilion at the Oval... It's, you it's just... amazing, though, sometimes one hit tends to... This we remembered more than any other. It defines an innings almost. Yeah, and I mean, I, I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I, I went to the trouble of, I think the day after or a couple of days later, I went and stood in the middle and looked up to where he hit it. And I mean, I thought it was a monumental hit from the commentary <laughs> box. But when I stood in the middle and looked at not only the distance it had to go, but the height that it had to be at. It's, to, the, to it's the bat, sir, Ian, these hey? days. It's no, the bat. no, it's not all the bat. <laughs> and, and I just thought to myself, that is amazing that a guy could hit it I that I don't far. know if it was two days later, but I remember you did not stop talking about that shot right through the tournament. Yeah. And a yeah. lot of times in commentary as well, you'll hear you know, people who played in the 80s and 90s talk about the bats. I think these guys have the gift of hitting the ball. You know, you can perhaps start by practicing or, you know, spending some time in the gym, get some muscle power in and hit the ball a little harder. These are gifts, Kieran Pollard from West Indies as well. And a lot of West Indians have that gift at birth, you know, the power of hitting the cricket ball. I mean, 96 from 57 balls in the semi-final of is the something World Championship. Yeah. Most years, Dilshan would have thought, I think I've done enough to get Afridi it. Afridi and Dilshan's innings, because they came closer to the finals, you know, knockout stage of the tournament and such a big prize at the end of a game. So that, I think that match has a little uh, different flavour to it, more pressure, more expectations. So that is when I got to think about whether Chris Gale's inning or Dilshan or Afridi. But then you also think about the memory, you know, the, what is the lasting memory of World T20 batting? Not so much Dilshan's 90 or Afridi's 50, it's a Chris Gales. It was Chris Gales 80. He lit up the first World T20, if you remember as well, he was hitting them into the golf course mm -hmm. in, in Johannesburg. So, Chris Gale, when he gets to know that he's won this award, I don't think he'll break in with jig or anything. He'll just smile and say, I'll do one more. But uh, that was an astonishing innings, 88 to not out against, uh, against Australia, a match-winning innings. And uh, in, as, as certainly as part of the three of us, delighted that it was Chris Gale.